Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and of course we're going to continue our study on the animal kingdom or the kingdom animalia, alright? And of course, uh, in this episode we're going to look at the phylum nematoda, okay? The nematodes, okay? So, uh, uh, please know that this video tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 Schools Jam app. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. The app has all the past questions for all subjects in one application and some useful and wonderful features designed to make you perform excellently well in your exam. Because your exam is a CBT exam, the app is a CBT app designed to make you practice like you are what, writing your exam. You can take several mocks. The app is very flexible. You can take several mocks on the app. All right. And wonderfully, it has some features like the classroom feature where you can study lecture notes according to the jam syllabus and take tests on those lectures and of course it has the question side feature you can search for question according to topics and then you see the question that jam has set under a particular topic you answer them you build confidence also we have the utm challenge a very very wonderful word feature whereby we come whereby you compete with other students that are writing jam for the for a particular year to win amazing prizes apart from winning prizes you are getting used to how jam set that question apart from that you are seeing your score release every week so you are, you are able to, uh, to gauge your performance all right so every saturday by 10 a.m you pass it in the challenge by 12 your result is out you see the result you say ah i'm going to score 250 i need to do better you will know so maybe in the next challenge you score 260 in the next one score 270 so you'll be able to work to see what you'll be see, able to track your progress and of course as you are doing all this you are building confidence towards the main exam all right so please download that application from play store right now and activate activation is just 3000 euro as at the time of shooting this video okay the price will go up definitely in the future so do not focus in fact that future i'm talking about is not for you you are going to write your exam once and you are going to pass it in the name of jesus all right so please download the application right now and we'll start with practicing to activate just click on activate after downloading and at the top, you see where they wrote buy activation key. Click on buy activation key. And then, of course, you see three options for what? For payment. So, what you just need to do so what? is to use any of the method. You can make transfer to the O3 Schools app account. You can uh, also what uh, uh, use an ATM card to pay online. If you use that method, you don't need to over call anybody. The app will be automatically activated. But if you are transferring, you need to send the receipt of your payment to this number 091215152. Four six on WhatsApp. The app is also available for your computers, for your PC, in case what you want to. You do not want to. You want to study without distraction. Okay, so you can what download it for your computers and your what and your laptops. All right. So if you want to get the link to download for what for the computer, just send a message to this number on WhatsApp also, and you get a swift reply. All right. Now, the nematodas. I will say what the organisms belonging to this phylum are also known as ram worms they are known as what as round worms and of course these round worms all right they are they are up to the nematodes they are up to like twenty eight thousand species of nematodes in the world okay nobody will ask you this question anyway just for you to work, just for knowledge okay they are up to twenty eight thousand species of nematodes in the world and among those twenty eight thousand species over sixteen thousand of them over sixteen thousand of them are parasitic they are parasites okay they are parasitic all right so just take note of that all right so um they are unsegmented vermiform animals okay when we talk about vermiform vermiform means what worms okay or worm like all right they are what unsegmented what vermiform what animals and of course know that what this uh, nematodes they feed on bacteria they feed on fungi and then they feed on even other nematodes all right and they play a very very effective and efficient role in what we call nutrient recycling because as they feed on those bacteria and those fungi all right what they do they excrete it back to the soil all right and in fact if you don't know nematodes will play a very major role in what in the quantity of nitrogen in the soil you know nitrogen is very very useful for, for plant growth all right they contribute to up to 19 percent of nitrogen in what in the soil so nitrogen play a very very important role and our, because they are also very beneficial they are also very very deadly because what they can what destroy what plants they can destroy what plants by what eating what the roots of what of plants okay and therefore reducing the in, the uptake of what of nutrient to go to the soil but also they are dangerous to what to insects okay so they can use the what to control what pests all right and insects all right so that is all for that about them. They have what is they have a cylindrical body, and they yeah, sorry, I'm skipping somewhere. They say the epidermis has dorsal and ventral nerve cords. The epidermis, that is the outer layer of their skin, have dorsal, the dorsal and what, and the ventral nerve cord. Okay, they also have the natural, the lateral, lateral nerve. 
This lateral nerve is used for what? For sensory control. Sensory control. This lateral nerve that they have is used for sensory control. This dorsal uh, nerve that they have is used for what? For motor control, for movement. Okay, that one is for sensing, sensing things for sensory. This one is what? for movement, motor control. And then the ventral nerve cord. Those have the ventral nerve cord. The ventral nerve cord perform the function of both the combined function of both the dorsal and what? And the lateral what? nerve what? cords. So that is just uh, a tidbit for you to understand. Then uh, they have cylindrical what? bodies. Most roundworms are what? Usually what? Uh, or usually what? In cylindrical what? In shape. Now, let's see some of the characteristics. Roundworms possess bilateral symmetrical bodies. Okay, you know what bilateral symmetry means by now, all right? When we say about the, the, the body shape of what of an organ can be cut, all right? Cut in all what in only one plane, in only one plane into two identical halves. So round ones possess what we call bilateral symmetry. All right, so now, two, they po usually possess a gut with two openings, which include the mouth and the anus. What they usually possess in gut that has two openings, which include the mouth and the anus. Nematodes, they usually show, they usually possess a false body cavity, okay? False body cavity, that means they are pseudo what? Silomates, all right? They are pseudo -silomates, as you can see from here. They are pseudo -silomates. They possess what? False body cavity, pseudo -silomates. all right? Then, of course, Nematodes show sexual dimorphism. They show what sexual dimorphism, just like human beings, all right? Like the males and the females, they are distinct. If you see a female person, you know, you see the male eyes and a boy. Although there are some people that are usually in between, you, know, you see boy that look like a girl. It's not, I'm not talking about some boys, so you see a boy that virtually looks like a girl, right? I, I saw one very recently and I was in toss, like I was, I was amused. <laughs> I just told them, I was all looking toss like a girl, but it's completely what a male, all right? So, but I'm not talking about those one here. I'm not talking about what sexual dimorphism. So you can differentiate what they are, what the species based on what, on appearance, based on color, right? And so on, all right? So what I'm saying that what nematodes also show what sexual dimorphism. So you can actually what differentiate between what the male and the female ones. All right, now, Nematodes have three gem layers. They have three cell layers or three what gem layers. And a typical example of uh, uh, a typical example of roundworm is what is Ascaris. The Ascaris. The male Ascaris can be distinguished from the female by its smaller size and by the sharply curved tail. All right. The male Ascaris can be uh, differentiated or distinguished from the female one by what the smaller side so they have what smaller sizes and they have what is sharply what curved tail all right so that is that about what the nematodes okay so in the next class i'm going to look at another phylum and i hope to see you there thank you for watching